Hey there and welcome to another art video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kati and I mostly do videos about art, sketching, printing, just like this video here. I wanted to do a special print this time and while I was searching for a topic to illustrate, I stumbled across some old footage of us being in Prague in the Alfons Mucha Museum. Mucha? Mucha. <laughs> he is one of my favorite artists and I remember being stunned seeing some of his work in real life. I also got a huge poster of him, but it's so huge that I don't know where to put it. And inspired by his work, I really wanted to make a Lino print in this Art Nouveau style. Um, although I know he's using a technique called lithography, which is far more complicated than Lino printing and it requires some sort of studio to print in, um, I still think it's possible to achieve some nice results with Lino printing in this style. And I also don't want to like copy his whole style, I just want to use it as a reference and sprinkle my own ideas into it. <laughs> Mucha's work can be described as decorative, brownish, with a lot of botanical backgrounds inspired by nature and goddess-like women. So keeping some of these stylistic choices in mind, I will start the concept for my own print. I want to have a woman as the main subject and create some sort of theme to the picture. Mucha often had themes for his series like precious stones, four seasons, times of the day, but since I don't have the endurance to make like a whole series, I just want one topic for like one little picture. Since many Art Nouveau artists have dealt with the cycle of life and progression, I wanted to make a piece about youth and its passing. I also want to have a woman as the main subject and some emotion to it. I started with her pose and tried to fit a skull into the picture, maybe her holding the skull. I know this is nothing too original, but I was really focusing on bringing this essence of this Art Nouveau style into the picture. I wasn't sure what kind of decor to pick uh, or like background piece, so I oriented myself on the zodiac picture of Mucha for the shapes. I also wanted to add some flowers, we definitely need some decoration to it, and since it's about youth, I've decided to choose crocus flowers, since they symbolize youth. On the top part, I wanted them to beautifully grow, and as you look down the picture, they slowly start to wilt. And so I played with the details till I was finally happy with the sketch, followed by my line art to clean everything up. I'm gonna try a reduction print this time, and for those of you who don't know what that is, um, it's basically a technique where you have several colored layers and you cut more and more off of the board between each layer, meaning that you have no second chance to print a layer before the layer you're currently at. It's a bit complicated and I hope I'll succeed somehow. But I wasn't sure how many layers I wanted to keep because my colors need to dry for a week, so I don't want to take this whole print too long. So maybe just like four layers or so, meaning that I can only choose four colors to use and fill them up. I went with beige, red, teal and a darker blue for the line art. In the next step, I tried to transfer my sketches on an A3 size Lino board. I had a bit of trouble transferring the picture. Uh, I forgot that the medium method with the printed paper only works if you have a laser printer. And mine was an inkjet printer, so it was barely visible. But as long as I can figure out what is what, it's, it's fine to me. Then I sharpened my cutting tools. I wanted them to be perfectly sharp so I don't cut myself or slip on the picture. I started with the color beneath, which is the beige one, and removed anything that should not be covered in paint. As always, I think the cutting part is the best, because it's so therapeutic and calming. I just can listen to some music or a podcast and the time flies by. So this is the carved board, I prepare my table for printing and start mixing the beige color. I find it kind of hard to mix the exact color as in my sketch because the only reference that I have is digital, so it's hard to compare it to the real life paint. Um, but I do it as close as I can get and I still need more practice in mixing colors though. Thank you. 
I apply the color thoroughly on the board with a printing roll and make sure to cover everything. And into the press with it. I prepared this shape where my board perfectly fits inside and marked and secured my paper so it fits directly on the same place every time it goes into the press, which is necessary for a reduction print. Otherwise it will look shaky and just not as accurate with all of the details that I've got. While it dried, I started to carve a second colored coat after I washed the colors off. This is important so the paint doesn't build up. And basically it's the same procedure on each layer and I cut out everything that should be left out beige. Next I mixed the red color and I forgot to say that I always use two colors to create some sort of gradient to the layer. That way I can lift the top part of the picture visually up, which takes a bit longer but I like how it looks. And here we go again, the cutting stage of the greenish, uh, teal-ish layer. I cut everything out that should remain red, just as uh, the flowers or the hair. The most difficult part is definitely the line art and it took by far the longest. I mean all of those details, I really didn't want to mess something up so that's why I took my time with that.
So this is the finished print. It took a long time. I have to admit that I didn't think that each layer has to dry over a week, meaning the whole process was far over a month. And in the beginning, I thought like two weeks max and I'll be finished. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, but I have to say that I'm quite proud of the result. I really like it, especially because it's a reduction print, meaning that it's harder than just a one layered print as I often do. And I also had so much fun with the printing press. It was really fun trying out all these possibilities and it's, it's also easier than printing by hand, uh, especially with these clip ins that uh, ensure that each layer uh, is exactly on top of each other. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the process. If you want to see more of that, more printing or sketching videos, you can follow me for more. And yeah, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!